Welcome to the Step 1 of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about lipid transport. Chylomicrons transport lipids from the diet and carries them to the tissues. Lipids in cholesterol that are acquired from the diet are emulsified into micelles by the bile salts. They are then further broken down into monoglycerides and free fatty acids, which can be taken up by the intestinal cells. They are reformed into triacylglycerides and packaged into chylomicrons with apolipoprotein B48, which enters into the lymphatic system by the lacteal. The chylomicrons enter the bloodstream by the thoracic duct via the subclavian vein. A high-density lipoprotein tags the chylomicron with APOC2 and APOE. The APOC2 binds to a lipoprotein lipase on the walls of the capillary that breaks down the triacylglycerides into free fatty acids and glycerol, which can then enter adipocytes. The remnant chylomicron is taken up by the liver via APOE lipoprotein lipase receptor. Very low-density lipoproteins are used to transport lipids, mainly triacylglycerides, to the tissues. First, it is generated in the liver by packaging the lipids to ApoB100. HDL then tags it with ApoC2 and ApoE. The ApoC lipoprotein lipase receptor mediates the entry of triacylglycerides into the adipocytes by breaking it down into free fatty acids and glycerol. The remnant apolipoprotein is called IDL, intermediate density lipoprotein, which is brought back to the liver by ApoE lipoprotein lipase mediation. The same ApoB100 can also be used in mainly cholesterol transport as well. When they are used in cholesterol transport, they are called LDLs or low density lipoproteins. Binding to a peripheral cell LDL receptor, the LDL can be endocytosed. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.